Hey, what's going on guys? Dinos Gaming here with a, you could call it a concept video of, get out of my way grass, of my base for the upcoming Antic Craft series. As you can see here, it is a futuristic base with the beacon integrated right into design. But first, I would like you to meet the wild pink sheep. As I was adventuring around trying to find a place to put my base, I found him. And he is my my new pet, my new buddy. This is my, going to be my starter base. Kind of an observatory lab design that I think looks like a smurf mushroom. Put your opinion in the comments. This, this, this definitely looks like a smurf mushroom. So, my design is going to be a futuristic, branched out kind of base. And if you look over here, this is what I mean by branched out. Like it comes out like that into other buildings. So now if we come over here, we have our elytra landing pad. So instead of there being a helipad, we go whoosh, like that. We have ender chest strategically placed around the place. My favorite feature, a trash hole. And um, there's a little bit of a secret going on here. We come down here. Now you're trapped. Stairs to the storage room and fish room. Come down here. We have our nice little fish room with our tropical fish tank. And I'm thinking I can probably put some more fish tanks in here. Then this down here will be the storage room. Storage rooms are big though, so... And very redstone-y. And I'm not a redstone person. So this one, let's just say up and down. We have our, our double elevator. I don't know what to put in this tower, but we have a tower. We also have a much larger tower. If it takes a lot more time to get up, but we have a nice little bed. This is gonna be our bedroom. So we'll just wait for the night to come here. Okay, we have our ender chests up here, our secret lighting sources, and once again, our double elevator. You can actually see there's the beacon going up through there. And then if we come over here, no, I'm not missing a glass pane, that's just another way out. We have our trophy room, with another ender chest. This will have, like, our first block mined, our first diamond, our first diamond pickaxe, once we, if we could save it. Sor sorts of stuff like that. Then, if we come over here, we have our second floor. Nice little lighting sources with the androids. And I don't really know what I'm going to do with this room. There's a lot of rooms I don't know what I'm going to do with, and I just made them. So in the comments, be sure to put your opinion of what I should put in these rooms. We have another one of these rooms, which has this pillared... Well, maybe not pillared, but like, open second floor over there. And we come over here, I'm thinking of like splitting this up in different rooms, and one of the rooms would be a armory, which I can use this little beacon room down here for like the redstone part of the armory. And what's cool, as you're coming up through this water tower, or water elevator, yeah, that thing, you can see all the redstone and stuff that goes into it. So I thought that'd be something cool that we could do. And then we come over here, we have our nice little, I don't know, again, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. But I gave it a nice little balcony. And what's cool with this base design, I can keep branching it off in different areas, keep building it up a bit, adding more towers and getting rid of ones I don't need anymore, and just make it look huge and sprawling and all that, and like I've put in here, nail, nope, said, like I've put in here, nope, nail, nail them one by one and show off to your friends. It took a lot less tries than I thought. Can I do it again? Oh! Nope, I cannot. 
well. That is my little base showcase for you guys. I will keep updating you until Anticraft starts. It's been fun. See you guys soon. Thank you.